Very good morning to one and all. I am Dr. Prafula Dagli, the principal of Brilliant Academy English Medium School, Fulton. And uh, we are now discussing in our part four of the video with regards to the language paper of English. Tomorrow you have your English paper for the state board schools. Uh, this video, as I said in the, my previous video also, is not just uh, confined to the students of Brilliant Academy, but also for all the students of uh, the other schools from state board so we are talking about the writing skills and creative writing and now we are focusing on the report writing something very 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 important that you need to understand which you might have been told by which already might have been told to you by your respective teachers from different schools and from my own school as well and when you have a particular report writing please remember that you should have a title for what particular incident has taken place the incidents uh, let's take it as an example it could be a fire in a hospital as we might have he heard about this uh, you know in this two years of pandemic crisis you know the ICU unit has taken up the fire and it was fully engulfed and uh, a lot of emergency measures were taken and uh, you know it was completely um, a challenging task for the hospitals and for the collectors and everyone so something which is very 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 challenging now the other important thing that you need to remember is the sequence when you have a title particular title which is alarming and very precise then you also to your right hand side should have the name of the reporter who is reporting it and then uh, to the left you will have your date and day when this incident took place example this incident has taken place yesterday you're going to present that today the reason in one line simple is you're talking about a report a report is made for an event which has already taken place or an incident which has already taken it it is not necessary that this has to be an incident it could also be an event the event could be in the form of some activities which your schools have taken uh, you know co-curricular activity science exhibitions republic day and so on and so forth so most important thing that you need to emphasize is to focus on the sequence of the events when you have an event ensure that you are writing when uh, this event was uh, conducted who all uh, attended that where it took place what all happened into that how did you uh, you know carry forward that particular event who all participated into it so the, the questions like where how when what where all these things are extremely and why are extremely important as I gave the example with regards to the, um, you know, the incident of a fire which took place in a hospital. As you know, we keep reading about it. This is just an example. But let's say if this particular thing comes in your examinations and you are supposed to write this particular thing. How would you write? As an example, I am giving it to you. You have to certainly tell that this, uh, this particular fire engulfed in the city uh, of so and so at particular location in the early um, uh, you know uh, hours of uh, working you know it could be the peak hours where the you know the, the people go on for their work and all it happened in the heart of the city which is completely congested during the festival season so you may exaggerate that but do not exaggerate so much that you know something like there was a uh, there was the Diwali celebration and all on all were just celebrating and suddenly it happened yes you may but it all depends upon the situation so you may have situations you may have to hypothetically visualize and create such situations and and imagine those and then write it is that clear to you and then what all emergency measures were taken okay the uh, the, the collector then later on came into the uh, picture he was interviewed he was asked about the same he said further inquiry inquiries would be set forward and then for the uh, the casualties have been uh, less moderate or very high or it is not unknown you need to write all these things so be very precise and focused upon is that clear i'm sure you keep watching the news and all and you see such incidents happening so something like this might come okay this is just an example so uh, i hope the report writing is pretty much clear to you and then uh, you may also end by stating that uh, uh, for you know uh, for for all, all these particular things you might get further updates with regards to you know uh, what has been happened you may you may end up if this is a fire then the inquiry committee has been set up uh, regarding the hospitals and all and further investigations would also be carried out as to who is responsible for this attack or for a particular fire or a cause that's it or an incident that's it so hope that's absolutely clear to you the report writing is very very important and it's just about what you observe you go through your news channels go through the you know the news channels and all that show such things read 
and that's the reason all teachers across the globe keep telling you reading observing listening watching all these things are something which is so useful to you in your language papers okay so thank you so much